Hello listeners. Welcome to another podcast on world history. Today I will talk about classical Greek architecture, which falls under culture in classical Greece. This content is about to describe the distinguishing characteristics of classical Greek architecture. So, let's get started. Classical Greek architecture. Classical Greek architecture can be divided into three separate styles, the Doric order, the Ionic order, and the Corinthian order. Classical Greek architecture is highly formalized in structure and decoration, and is best known for its temples, many of which are found throughout the region as substantially intact ruins. Each classical Greek temple appears to have been conceived as a sculptural entity within the landscape, and is usually raised on higher ground so that its proportions and the effects of light on its surface can be viewed from multiple angles. Open-air theaters are also an important type of building that survives throughout the Hellenic world, with the earliest dating from approximately 525 to 480 BCE. Greek architectural style can be divided into three separate orders, the Doric order, the Ionic order, and the Corinthian order. These styles have had a profound impact on Western architecture of later periods. In particular, the architecture of ancient Rome grew out of Greek architecture. Revivals of classicism have also brought about renewed interest in the architectural styles of ancient Greece. While the three orders of Greek architecture are most easily recognizable by their capitals, the orders also govern the form, proportions, details, and relationships of the columns, entablature, pediment, and stylobate. Orders were applied to the whole range of buildings and monuments. The Doric Order The Doric Order developed on mainland Greece and spread to Italy. It is most easily recognized by its capital, which appears as a circular cushion placed on top of a column onto which a lintel rests. In early examples of the Doric Order, the cushion is splayed and flat, but over time, it became more refined, deeper, and with a greater curve. Doric columns almost always feature fluting down the length of the column, numbering up to 20 flutes. The flutes meet at sharp edges, called arises. Doric columns typically have no bases, with the exception of a few examples dating from the Hellenistic period. Columns of an early Doric temple, such as the Temple of Apollo at Syracuse, could have a column height to an entablature ratio of 2,1, and a column height to a base diameter ratio of only 4,1. Later, a column height to a diameter ratio of 6,1 became more usual, and there is a column height to an entablature ratio at the Parthenon approximately 3,1. Doric entablatures consist of three parts, the archet rave, the frieze, and the cornice. The archet rave is composed of stone lintels that span the space between columns. On top of this rests the frieze, one of the major areas of sculptural decoration. The frieze is divided into triglyphs and metopes. The triglyphs have three vertical grooves, similar to columnar fluting, and below them are gutty, small strips that appear to connect the triglyphs to the archet rave below. The triglyphs are located above the center of each capital and the center of each lintel. Pediments in the Doric style were decorated with figures in relief in early examples, however, by the time the sculptures on the Parthenon were created, many pediment decorations were freestanding. The Parthenon The Parthenon is considered the most important surviving building of classical Greece and the zenith of Doric order architecture. It is a former temple on the Athenian Acropolis dedicated to the patron goddess of Athens, Athena. Construction began on the Parthenon in 447 BCE, when the Athenian Empire was at its peak. Construction was completed in 438 BCE, but decoration of the building continued until 432 BCE. Although most architectural elements of the Parthenon belong to the Doric order, a continuous sculptured frieze in low relief that sits above the archet rave belongs to the Ionic style. The Ionic Order the Ionic Order coexisted with the Doric Order and was favored by Greek cities in Ionia, Asia Minor, and the Aegean Islands. It did not evolve into a clearly defined style until the mid-5th century BCE. Early Ionic temples in Asia Minor were particularly ambitious in scale. 
the Ionic order is most easily identified by its voluted capital. The cushion placed on top of the column is similarly shaped to that of the Doric order, but is decorated with a stylized ornament and surmounted by a horizontal band that scrolls under to either side. Ionic order columns are fluted with narrow, shallow flutes that do not meet at a sharp edge, but have a flat band between them. The usual number of flutes is 24, but there can be as many as 44. The archet rave is not always decorated, but more often it rises in three outwardly stepped bands. The frieze runs in a continuous band and is separated from other members by rows of small projecting blocks. The Ionic order is lighter in appearance than the Doric order, with columns that have a 9:1 ratio, and the diameter and the whole entablature appears much narrower and less heavy than those of the Doric. Decorations were distributed with some variation, and Ionic entablatures often featured formalized bands of motifs. The external frieze often contained a continuous band of figurative sculpture of ornament, though this was not always the case. Caryatids draped female figures used as supporting members to the entablature were also a feature of the Ionic order. Corner capital in the Ionic style with a diagonal volute, showing also details of the fluting separated by fillets. The Corinthian order The Corinthian order grew directly from the Ionic in the mid-5th century BCE, and was initially of a very similar style and proportion, with the only distinguishing factor being its more ornate capitals. The capitals of the Corinthian order were much deeper than those of the Doric and Ionic orders. They were shaped like a bell-shaped mixing bowl and ornamented with a double row of acanthus leaves above which rows splayed, voluted tendrils. The ratio of column height to diameter of the Corinthian order is generally 10 colon 1, with the capital taking up more than a tenth of the height. The ratio of capital height to diameter is generally about 1 colon 16 colon 1. Initially the Corinthian order was used internally in such sites as the Temple of Apollo Epicurius at Bassi. By the late 300s, features of the Corinthian order began to be used externally at sites such as the Karagic Monument of Lysocrates and the Temple of Zeus Olympia, both in Athens. During the Hellenistic period, Corinthian columns were sometimes built without fluting. The Corinthian order became popular among the Romans, who added a number of refinements and decorative details. Thank you for listening, don't forget to check out other tracks as well. Show your love by hitting the subscribe button and do like, comment and share, to spread knowledge. See you next time, till then keep learning for fun.